Three, two, one. Hello, hello. Uh, my, my final metal project. Out of the two, with, between a short film and uh, photography, I chose a short film because I find it more enjoyable and I feel like you can show off a little bit more, like show off your skills in film. And it's called Project Icebreaker. I'll probably get to that in a minute. So, what <laughs> were our kids doing? My concept is a child, a child's curiosity, very young, is unlimited. And it's getting to the age now, as you can see with that boy, that he's getting more and more, whoa. <laughs> so he asked his parents, which is Agent Smith from The Matrix and Mrs. Field from The Avengers, um, what, how did they know? A typical conversation, a typical question, an icebreaker. Okay. And <laughs> what, they, what she doesn't expect, what, it, what the child, which would be a she, sorry, um, is that they are both actually spies. Then you get transported in the reminiscence of their memories in 1988, in the ending of the Cold War. <laughs> That's about to be a good end. Okay. To assassinate a KGB target, and my target audience for this is the cool, hip, young folk who like the action movies who get the adrenaline from it. So why did I choose this concept? Uh, I chose this concept because when I make a project, I like to believe what is ambitious and what I can actually do. And this time it's a little bit more ambitious than it is, so that makes me want to push myself. Also, I believe that this has a lot of com like conventions in it. It's got action, it's got comedy, and a sense of romance. So it's like all into one. I can show as many conventions as I want to it. And also, it's a very good way to demonstrate the skills I've learned over the years. What will make my production different? What will make it different from Spectre and Johnny English? Um, a 007 film is typical now. It comes out every like probably three years. It's just serious and stuff like that. Johnny English came out in 2011. It was it was okay. I was like I like drawing out some stuff. But what it, what we need, what I think is pretty not really saturated media is. Satirical comedies about British agents, not like Ryan Long or Twenty One Jump Street, but the American agents. And also, something I make it different. I want it to be fun and enjoyable, but at the same time have all the techniques that you would expect from a high quality short film. What can you expect from my project? You can expect to have many locations, like many more different locations, but probably three. <laughs> what you can expect is actors from different age groups. I've got three different age groups with my actors. Um, a unique idea, which I don't know, I'm going to Google it up, I don't see anything the same as what I'm doing. And also, uh, an emphasis on the little details, like the audio editing, which are very important, but sometimes they just get ignored. My inspirational characters. Mr. and Mrs. Smith is our obvious one because it's near enough the same kind of concept with the agents being good stuff. <laughs> I think I also like uh, Johnny English, his goofiness. Uh, what my male. I want him to be not too serious, not the typical agent that you'd be, like a robot. I want him to have an element of funniness, a sense of humour. And also Ken and Barbie from Toy Story 3. Their romance is adorable in Toy Story 3. I wanted a little hint of that and implement it as well. And I was going to be research here, but I haven't made a questionnaire yet, and I want to do it at the end, so then anything that's already done, I can just switch it like that. So that will be it. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.